Okay, this is just a video of what I'm doing is I'm just going to be doing some testing on some Kingston um, for I think it's A4 400 um, SSDs and they're both 480 gigs and the main reason I bought them is because of the price of them has, has dropped a bit lately and one thing about these particular drives is that when you look at them on Amazon they're actually cheaper than the UV 400s and when I looked up some reviews for these A400s it's as if people are having problems with the performance and when I actually bought them I was doing some copying to them and I noticed that and so here is the case that I'm going to mount them in and basically it's just an Orico um, SSD sort of PCI slot um, case and it's just convenient so it doesn't use up any of the drive bays inside the um, actual case or inside the PC case that I'm going to put them into okay and this is the um, the actual that um, drive bay mounted inside the case and as you can see I've used some bit Fenix cables because obviously with SSDs running at 6 gigabits I thought I might as well try and get the best cables that I could and um, so what I'm going to do now is just um, do some testing right so now this is, so I'm just running, I'm actually running from the machine that I um, installed those two Kingston drives into. And like I was saying before, I noticed that some people seem to have performance problems with these particular um, drives. So when I first um, sort of installed them, I seem to have similar uh, well, I thought there were similar problems as well, but it turned out in the end that um, it was just something to do with how I connected the drives which I was copying from. So what I'm going to do now is just do some uh, cop direct copying from the actual individual drives themselves. And basically they're set up as a RAID 0. Uh, so, I c so to test the individual drives, the only thing I can do is read from them, because obviously if I wrote to them it would cause a problem. Um, so this first test, I'm just reading directly from the drive. And it's just reading basically data st straight from the drive into dev null. And what this will test is just basically how quickly the um, SSD can retrieve the data and basically send it off into nothing. And well, so... As I found out afterwards, when I set everything up, this is what it was giving me, 477 megabytes per second, which is, is quite, it, well, it's, it's obviously um, it's definitely going to make a difference from using spinning drives. Um, so that's SDA, and I have them set up as a RAID 0. Um, so if I do SDB as well, and so what this does is this gives us the rate of reading from each individual drive um, but I noticed that the the tests that I saw some people do they were actually having read rates of like a hundred and something megabytes per second and then their write rates were like 89 megabytes per second which it was actually similar to what I was seeing so which, that's why I thought that there might be something wrong with the drives but basically, after doing subsequent testing, I, I think the drives are fine. Because as you see, this one is reading at 507 megabytes per second. Um, now, obviously, reading, you know, anyone can say that, well, that's easy. You know, you can get quite, always get good rates for reading data from an SSD. So the next one I'm going to be doing is actually writing. So basically, what I have is a RAID, I have the two drives set up as a RAID 0. And so as you can see, it's the MD1 and it's SDB1A and, sorry, SDB2 and SDA2. And it's a RAID 064K chunks. 
and so I have the this mounted in this directory that I'm in at the moment. So what I'm now going to do is actually to write I'm going to write some data to that RAID zero in two different ways. Now this first way, um, what this does is it, it's writing fifty gigs of data. And basically it's sending the data to the um, file system in one megabyte chunks. And then after each one megabyte chunk is written, then it performs a sync. And so of course the SSD, um, or yeah, the SSD essentially has to say to the RAID system that yes, the data is on the, on the, in the flash. And then it returns back to the, through the RAID, then the file system and back to the program. And then that's when DD will send the next one megabyte. So basically this way of doing it is actually quite um, intensive. And we can actually get a look at what's going on. Um, so this might be a bit smaller actually. All right, so as you can see that, that read, um, sorry, that write operation, I should say, was writing at 612 megabytes per second. And that's the rate basically with a sync after every one megabyte. So of course, when I saw that, I knew that obviously the SSDs were completely fine because if you're getting that sort of rate into the file system, and not even directly to the drives, then that shows as plain as day that the SSDs are obviously fine. And obviously some people might say, oh, 612 megabytes a second, that's not quite fast enough. So the reason why it's this speed is because I'm doing the sync after every one megabyte, but basically there's one last way in which you can um, do the test, but this time, what it does, it does the sync at the end of when all the data is sent. So basically the data is hammered into the SSD and the file system, etc. And then at the end, um, no, sorry, it's the next one. Yeah, that's it. So at the end, um, DE will then call a, um, uh, let me just quickly check something. Okay, I'm just back. So basically, um, what I'm going to uh, do Okay, so yeah, basically this F data thing, what it does is it writes all the data at the end so it does the sync at the end, and but basically writes all the data all in one go into the SSD without any syncs in between. So I'm going to set that running. And then we actually don't have to wait to the end to see what the end result of this one is, because I can actually just use IO top. And as you can see, this is the rate that it's writing at. Now, of course, you might see these figures and think, oh, this is, this is just fiction, but well, this is what the kernel is telling me that literally it is writing to these SSDs at one gigabyte per second. And obviously that's a quite an interesting rate. But one thing it shows for sure is that there's nothing wrong with these SSDs. And even though 
they're cheaper in price. If anyone's having any performance problems with them, then there must be something wrong with their operating system. Either that, or a problem with their hardware, or a problem with their cables. Because So basically the main reason that I did this actual video was just to show that if you use the proper uh, high quality um, serial ATA cables, and then connect things up with a proper operating system that can actually get out of the way, then literally you can have a RAID 0 SSD, which will write your data at one gigabyte per second. And so basically, if anyone, people want to go out and buy these Kingston SSDs, as far as I can see, there's nothing wrong with them. And if you see any reviews where people say that they're slow, well, then essentially there's something wrong with their either hardware or software. And you, if you use a proper operating system and drivers and hardware, then you, you should also be able to get these um, super fast um, transfer rates as well. Okay, see you.